My name is Jacob Sasko. As a psychic medium, I found more people need help than just the living. This led me to develop a team of compassionate individuals with the main aim of helping these forgotten souls find the light. Okay, it's Saturday. We just spent the night. We stayed up on the on the top floor, downstairs. Me and Joe came to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Try to get in contact with Lizzie. The story is Lizzie was waiting for her husband to come back from war. There's a spirit of Lizzie here. Can you say hello? I actually think we were in the room next to Lizzie. I might be mistaken, but I think it was Victoria's room. That was actually the most activity that we had. Okay, going back to paranormal puck questions. Giving some call and responses. Do you feel trapped here? What's it? Before. Do you want to leave this place? Necessary. We got a presence downstairs, but we weren't necessarily sure with Lizzie. You mind if I sit on your on your bed? I'm not sure what that was. This is my friend Mark. I'm Joseph. We come here to talk and have a conversation. Is there anybody that you love? That one was over like two or three frequencies. I don't know what it said though. If there are any spirits here, please do not. What? What did that say? Sounded violent as hell though, didn't it? If there's any spirits here, please don't hesitate to talk to us. What was that, behind you? Yeah. Who's out in the hallway? I thought I heard it say me. Say something. There's definitely more going on here. Lizzie. So that's what we tend to find out. Of course I'm sorry. I wanted to start this by saying that we love you and you don't have to be afraid of us. And we're here on a mission to help you have peace. We would appreciate your interaction with us. If you could make a noise from the direction I point my flashlight. If you could make a noise from over there for us. Did you hear that over there? No? I didn't hear anything. I heard something, but it sounded like it was from outside. No, not that. Not that. <laughs> I'm picking up on a lady. She's kind of plump. This is more of a worker. It's interesting because this is a white lady. It seems like the help. It doesn't seem like someone that owns this or has any sort of air like that. It's not a very strong connection. I'm not feeling a, a very strong tie to this place. I think it's not like the most prevalent thing that, that we're going to pick up on in here. That lady's not stuck. Like she came here, she went to work, and then she went home. You know what I mean? So it's just the kind of energy that was here. I mean, there are things, but they're not interacting. Yes, there are things. I mean, I'm seeing stuff, but nothing is blowing me away with being like, boom, I'm here. You know? Is that a timer? It's one second. Yep. Yeah. That's it. If there's anyone here with us on this floor, we, we really would be interested in talking to Lizzie. Lizzie, if you're here and you and you want help to find your husband, if you can make your presence known. Is that your stomach? Is that your stomach? I didn't hear anything. You didn't hear anything over here? No. I don't want to look up there though. <laughs> I don't like looking in Lizzie's room either. 
my instinct whenever like I see something is to shine the light on it. <laughs> I'm just like, no. There's something around us. Are you waiting for your love to get home? Is there anyone here besides Lizzie? Did somebody here commit suicide? What's the name of the woman that hung herself? Now it's making sense. So I was picking up earlier on a, a dark haired lady. She's white though. Curly hair, um, but it's held up. This is a woman of prestige. And I was getting a weird feeling from the room to my left um, when I was walking by. And that's when I was like, uh-uh. When I walked in the room, like when we were setting up, it's just a funky energy, not loving, not, it's just not a good feeling. I think that somebody committed suicide. I think they hung themselves from the banister. This level? Yeah, from this level. From about right there. They wanted to be seen by the people that walked in the house. If you were to hang from right there, are you visible to the front door? I almost felt as if someone was leaning over the railing behind me. I felt it move and I heard it move and it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so I don't know if this is connected. I'm getting 1849. I'm still picking up on depression connected to the lady with the dark hair. Devout religious though. So after what she did, it's fear of judgment that kept her from crossing over. If you want some help crossing over, if you could say something to the microphone, and I will pray you across right after. I hope they said something because I felt my whole hand get pushed off to the left. We know that you're going to be just fine where you go, okay? It's not fire and brimstone, so have no fear and, and it's all love. Before you go, is there anything you would like to say? Just know that we love you. At this time, I pray that angels come down and they bring any friends and family that are willing to come down to greet if it pleases you. You help show them the way to the light so they may go and they may be at peace. I think Lizzie's been misnamed. Just got done talking to the owner of the house. He actually informed me that there were no slaves here, which is interesting because they have a house behind this main house with slave quarters. And then on top of it is a honeymoon suite. So I was just trying to wrap my mind around if there were no slaves here, why would they have slave quarters? We're definitely going to be hitting the grounds tonight here. I think so. Let's do this. There's a Native American right there. Don't get freaked out. I feel sad right now. My name is Mark Anthony. This is my friend Joseph. We have more friends here. We come in the name of love. If there's any slaves here, I want you to know one thing. I want you to know things are not the way they were. And we understand how it was back in the day and how messed up and evil history was back then. If there's any slaves here, you have absolute freedom to do what you want, to leave, to carry yourself wherever you want to. I'm sorry for your pain and sorrow you went through. I really am. It's not fair what happened. It's not fair how they treated you. It's not. Things aren't the best, but they aren't how they were. The reason why we are here is if you do not want to be here, if you want to leave, we have a friend that can help you achieve that. Freedom. I don't know if I heard anything, but I'm getting chills all over my body right now. Spirits of Edwood. If you're here, can you make a noise for us? If you want us to leave, can you make a noise? There were slaves right outside the property line. There were slave houses back there, apparently. I invite all the members of any of the slave quarters in, in a 10 mile radius. I'm getting chills, this is great. All right, let's go ahead and start the EVP session down at the wood. Ooh. No. 
Oh, it, it just got close. Oh yeah, that's okay. Please get close. I apologize. I apologize. I, you just startled me. I hope you caught something. Gonna, is that? Are you okay? Can yeah. I close my eyes and do it? Yeah, yeah. I'm more that's fine. When I see yeah. it. You, you want me? You want to pull arm around you? It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. Baby step. Baby step. You can put your arm around me all you want, but you're gonna be the one I throw in front of me. I don't like it. I feel like there's things like trying to whisper in my ear. I know there's not. It's probably in my head. And maybe they are. It's okay if they are. There are people that are here that need our help. Nothing's gonna go home with you. All right. Yeah. Cool. How are you feeling? We're gonna give them a way out. Cause that's what we're here to do. Ladies and gentlemen and children that are here right now, these beings, are called angels. They will take you to your family and help you leave this place. I love you. You are safe. Come around us at this time. God, in Jesus' name, please bring down the angels and anyone who wishes to leave. Thank you. I appreciate that, God. Anyone, I just saw bright, bright, bright angels over there. Oh, that's good. Just coming down, basically. Anyone that wishes to go with these wonderful beings, they will take you and free you. God, in Jesus' name, at this time, I pray that the angels escort any of these people that would like to leave. I, I pray that you help them escape to heaven. I love you. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, no. That's They're doing the ghost hunt in the slave quarters over there, and that's within 10 miles. <laughs> All right, what time is it so we can find out if their stuff ended right now? I feel emotionless right now. I feel like whenever I might have been here, Left already? Sucked with energy. Maybe went to go with Jacob or... I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't feel the same way as it ever came in. No, it doesn't. It was very intense when we first came in. I feel like it's just a room full of stuff now. Yeah, it feels exactly a room full of stuff now. I feel like they left. You know, even that thing doesn't even bother me. It's still a little creepy. No. He's looking right at me. Like, really? Oh, gosh, those eyes. So judgmental. I like to open the floor to any souls that are Native Americans. God, in Jesus' name, I pray Gray Eagle comes down next to me at this time. My main spirit guide is Native American. I have Native American blood myself. We are here with a keen interest in helping you no longer have the struggle that you had during this time. We've just come here to see if we can give you some peace in exchange for all the hardship that, that you have had to go through. We are here with love on a mission to help guide you to where you're, you should be, not asking you to leave, not forcing you to leave your lands, but if, if it is your will, if, if you would like to go somewhere that's, that's more loving and somewhere that is, is where you're supposed to go at this point because you are no longer breathing on this planet. So if you believe that you are... Okay, it's okay. Can I interrupt um, you too? Hold on, there's something right in front of me. I know, I can feel it. If, go ahead. If you believe that you... Well, actually, in Jesus' name... Oh, go, oh, go ahead. Uh, he doesn't like speak. it, I feel like. I feel like it's weird. I feel uneasy. My heart started racing the minute you started calling for Native Americans when I felt the first yeah, one. Yeah, they're I feel not like happy with us. So let's not keep them around us very long because I'm not liking the energy I'm feeling but in front of me. they're not mad at me. I don't feel bad in me. Great. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling like... I, Look, I'm here with a heart of love. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to take anything from you. I'm here to give you an opportunity to move into a place of love if you would like to. You may stay if you would like to. I'm not here to force you to do anything. I love you and just want the best for you. I believe that the best would be going with angels, going with your family that is no longer here with you in the sky with your elders. I, I believe that would be best. That's just my opinion. You do not have to believe me. You do not have to do that. I will never force anything or make you do anything. That's just not what I'm about. So at this time, I would pray that the angels come down. I Again. wouldn't do that. Huh? I wouldn't do that. Do what? Not for the Native Americans. I feel like a weird vibe. Men, okay, came. They try to make them Christian. They try to make them this is not, and you're gonna pray to Jesus and God in front of them when they got murdered but that, you know what I mean it's insensitive I know and he, you're not doing it to be insensitive or anything I think you're spot on thank you for that I pray to the great spirit and the earth that if you would like to go into the forest 
with your family that they send your family down here and you can follow them to where they live now. I like their family coming and they can follow them back and it's not me sending them anywhere. So God in Jesus name, make that happen please at this time. I'll bring their family. Oh, oh, great spirit. Father Sky, please bring down their family to meet them so they may follow them to where they live now. I love you, thank you. We offer you thanks. Um, also, thank you. if you could do me a favor, yeah. um, can you grab a cigarette? I'm no. not welcome to live by myself. We're but burning but... tobacco as a peace offering. Anybody that, that wishes to come forward that is left, I wish you peace and love. Come forward, you've seen everyone else get helped and go. I ask that the last group come, and that's really anyone else that I've missed. I do pray that you come forward at this time. What was your role here in this place? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I thought you heard me. I didn't want to make sounds because you were recording. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You did wanted... that feel too real? Man, it felt like what it would have felt like. So. Oh, it did. Yeah. <laughs> so it feels so, like I'm, a I'm touching you. Sometimes, yeah, I'm jumpy for a reason. Oh, yeah. Hell, no. yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. That's how this shit works. That's what I'm like, dude. Did you just touch me? Like. Do you ever think something touches you and nothing's there though? No. <laughs> well, no if I like feel it, feel it like that. Okay. No, there's something that touch. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Back to you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Shenanigans. They. I think they like the fact that we're humans. Oh, I heard you. Well, hello. Um, you're welcome to come forward if you come in peace and love. God, in Jesus' name, I pray down Archangel Michael and your legion. I bind your powers in the name of Jesus Christ. I sever your hold over this place at the root. In Jesus' name, be gone. With love, I send you love and wish you peace. Move on to whatever your version of heaven is at this time. You are no longer welcome here. This is not your place. In Jesus' name, be gone. You must leave now. In Jesus' name, be gone. Thank you, God. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Thank you, Legion. Thank you, all beings of white, love, light, energy that assisted with this. I appreciate the peace you've just brought to this place. At this time, any remaining dwellers in these parts that are human or were human at one time, you may come forward. I pray that the angels come down and take you or allow you to go with them if you would like to um, into heaven or whatever your idea of heaven. Just take the thought in my head, whatever that means to you. I just basically thought of what heaven is and relayed that to spirit because they understand my thoughts. I don't have to say it out loud. So I, I pray that the angels come down at this time and take whoever is willing and whoever would like to go with them, with them at this time. And we will be leaving this place. So this is your last opportunity in this location for me to do this for you. In Jesus' name, I love you. Thank you, all beings that allowed this to be possible. I love you in Jesus' name, amen. Please go. I want you to direct your attention back over here. Hi. What are you picking up on? Honestly. I know that we were just in the, uh, the slave quarters um, and going in, we both had actually a lot of energy. We had both cameras, just batteries, just getting sucked all the way down to the bare minimum. Spear boxes, battery getting sucked all the way down. Mark's energy is completely depleted and he was just fine going in. My battery is going down so fast on this camera. I have one bar left on there. Really? Yeah. And my spirit box. One or two bars now. The emotions of both of us just getting drained. That adrenaline rush is the only thing keeping me going right now. Who killed them? Self. Girl. Same response I got a couple hours ago. Recoup some energy and go back 
the slave quarters of the mill. Is that the mill? Is that the mill? Yeah. Four floors. Welcome. Is there any spirits here? Can you come say hello? What are you sorry for? <laughs> <laughs>